What's up guys? Hello and welcome to another video where we're going to be checking out some new uh, technology that's come out recently. Uh, we're going to be checking out the Linkit One made by MediaTek. Uh, this little guy was brought to me by uh, Instructables. Uh, wanted me to check this little puppy out and see what uh, what all it can offer. So this is first of many videos that we're going to be doing on this little guy. It has many things to offer. I'll quickly run through, uh, run through some of the main features of it right now. Um, it has on board, it's got Arduino compatible, so it's got the headers and whatnot for Arduino. It even has the uh, Grove connectors on it. Uh, those of you who see me do the Intel Edison videos, I'm um, using the Seed Studio uh, Grove uh, series of uh, basically sensors and LCD screens and basically all kinds of different things. They're all built with this type of uh, connector here. And so it's got two connectors for that thing. One is an I squared C bus and the other is like a serial bus, like a spy or something, SPI. In any case, this thing is really cool. It's got audio on it. That's what the audio jack's for. It even has its own spot for a uh, lithium ion battery that can be put into it. It also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GSM, and uh, let's see, GPS. It has all in one board. Pretty cool. So what we're going to do um, in this video is we're just going to show you how to get this board cracked out of its package, get it plugged in, get your Arduino set up, uh, Arduino software set up and everything to use this little guy. As, as it shows, it's got all kinds of cool stuff on it. Some pretty cool features. I can't wait to get started. So let's go ahead and uh, close out of this. Oh, if I can. Well, that's fun. Just a moment. Okay, get that all closed out. So now we're going to launch the Arduino. Now, I have already done this, so um, well, I'll just walk you through the steps. Oops, it launched on my other monitor. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to be walking you through the steps on how to do this. And we're going to do um, one of their example uh, uh, example cases here. So the first thing we need to do, the greatest thing is if you're using Arduino version 1.64 or later, um, that's what I, I'm using, 1.64 is what I'm using, which was the latest one at this point in time. It has in here, there is the uh, board manager. If you go into board, there's a boards manager in here. Now, when you first launch the boards manager, the link at one will not show up in this list. And that's because you will need a specific uh, link that you have to include for it to go outside of the Arduino repositories and grab this. How you do this, and I'll put the link down in the description, so check the description for that link. Um, so you can just cut and paste it so you don't have to try to type it in. But you'll go up here to File, you go down to Preferences, okay? And then down here where it says Additional Board Manager URLs, that's where you'll paste it in. Okay, so you'll paste that link. See, I've already got it here. It's the MediaTek uh, link. You'll paste that in down there. Hit OK. And then when you go back to your uh, boards manager, I believe it appears right at the bottom. You'll see you'll see this, Link It 1 by Seed Studio. All you got to do is click on it. Now, see, I've already installed it. Mine shows installed. But over here, it won't say remove. It'll say install. So you just hit that and let it install. And once it's finished, all you got to do is restart your Arduino IDE. So you'll just X out and fire it back up again. And then you, you've got it it's, and it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my font since I was playing with this. I, I'd like it a smaller font when I'm, when I'm actually working on it. But when I show you guys, I want to make sure the video is nice and clear. So bring it up, uh, bring up the big font. So, all right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use an example. Uh, go up to the examples code. And what it does is it adds a whole nother section uh, to your examples. This whole section down here is all to do with the link at one. That's what the L audio and L battery and L Bluetooth and all that. What that's for is that's meaning link at one. And there's also, um, you can use the Grove uh, RGB backlight uh, display screen, that little 16 by 2 screen that they had, dot matrix uh, screen. Uh, I used it in the... Uh, Intel Edison stuff that I was doing in the automated herb garden. I use that. And so there's a lot of different examples that you can use that little guy with and plug that straight into the Grove sensor, which is fantastic because a lot of times you need a display um, on your project. And that's that Grove uh, display is a very, very simplistic uh, deal. What we're going to check out is some pretty cool stuff. We're going to check out the audio player. That's the one that we're going to choose for right now. So of course that gives me a new window. And here we go. Looks like uh, looks like this is in some form some form of uh, Asian. That's that's kind of cool. <laughs> I haven't ever seen comments in that before. That's interesting. Must be talking about how it's a twenty second millisecond uh, delay. 
Well, in any case, what this, how this works is you will you can upload there's it's cool there's a store flash storage flash okay command this in this play file command but the storage flash command there's a couple of these commands okay and you can look this up on their website and uh, I'll put a I'll put a link to the description to this uh, or link in the description to this place but um, you go basically um, I just googled it is basically what I did when I first looked for it um, you can get up to the media text uh, link at one uh, SDK page and you can go to API references okay. And then uh, I believe down here it's under storage, um, classes. Uh, let's see, I'll leave right. I gotta remember where it's at. It's the it's all the flash stuff. Uh, yeah. I looked this up a while back and I forgot where it was. Okay, here we go. All right, it's, it was under audio. Okay, so under audio, just like we we're saying here, uh, storage flash, and then we're calling out the wave uh, file. We got, uh, let's see, you got under your play file method, you click on that, and that shows you the play file command, but then here's the storage en enumeration, I guess what that stands for, for enum. Um, you click on that, and you can choose whether or not this thing also takes a uh, micro SD card, which is even cooler uh, about it. It has its own onboard flash. That's what the storage flash is. Flash is. And then there's storage SD, which it will read uh, an SD card if you choose to plug it. It's got a port on the bottom that you can plug an SD card into. So pretty darn cool. So what I'm going to show you now is how to use the onboard flash, okay, is what we're going to use, So, which is the way it's, it's configured right now. So we'll go ahead and... Give me a second, and we'll flip back to uh, to the Arduino software. Let's see if I can't just kick it back over here. All right, so there we are. So this is it. So what you want to do is on the board there is a switch, and I'll see if I can't bring the board up right here, uh, and we'll 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 uh, go through this together. Okay, so I've got the the video brought up right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, and we are going to switch the switch from uh there's a switch that's on here and it goes from the uh mode for uart to a serial device kind of like a flash drive is how it's going to work so we're going to switch that over so we're going to disconnect the power and flip that switch Okay, now I've just reconnected it. So now we're going to wait for a minute, and it should pop up here as a, another drive. And take us just a minute to get it popped up here. Okay, so here it is. So it is now it shows like a flash drive. Now I've gone ahead and copied one of my uh, audio files over here, but basically that's all you got to do is I just dragged an MP3 sound file and just dropped it in to uh, into this drive and it, it copies it right to the flash on the uh, on the actual link at one board itself so now what we got to do since the name of the file is sig swag which is kind of a fun song um, since we're close to Halloween it's my Halloween one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that in the code to sig swag dot mp3 since that's exactly what it is so now since we're in flash drive mode we can't uh, we can't upload this code yet. So we got to, again, disconnect the power and switch it back, which I'll do here in just a second. Okay, so now we got that reconnected uh, back up into that mode. Now, same thing goes. You want to check your uh, device manager uh, to make sure... Uh, which way this is connected. So you're going to check your device manager. For me, I'm going to check my ports. Oh, uh, there we go. And what I want is I want the modem port. Okay. And it looks like it's COM port 12 is the modem port. The debug port is 11. Modem port is 12. So we want 12. So notice it says 7. Well, that's not right. So you're going to go up here to tools, port. You're going to choose the link at one on COM port 12. That's what we want to upload code to. Okay. So then hit upload. It should compile the sketch, which it's doing right now. Once it finishes compiling, it will then send that right over to the device. And what we'll do is we'll see if we can't uh, we'll see if we can't hear the the audio when it plays. 
Okay, so I've got the microphone over here. Hopefully you can hear it. We're playing that I've got some speakers hooked up that are back here. But there it is. We're playing we're playing audio with it. So yeah. It's a pretty cool device. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's the way to initially set it up, get everything linked up, get the Arduino board put together to uh, allow it to work, as well as um, set up maybe a cool audio thing to do. We're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff with this little guy. Um, I've got a Halloween special that we're probably going to be doing that I'll probably use this guy in some fashion for. So guys, stay tuned for that. Look for more videos on the Link It One. And if you guys want to pick one up, they're available from Seed Studio. They're actually a pretty good uh, buy for the power that it's got. Like I said, it's got GSM, so you can put a SIM card in it and have uh, cellular capability. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, GPS. It's can uh, you can put a, a lithium-ion battery, plug it right into it. Um, you can. Uh, it also, the kit comes with all the antennas and everything to put this thing together with. It is absolutely a cool all-in-one device. And to knock it, to top it all off, it's got the uh, the. Arduino compatible stuff on it as well so you can take all of your Arduino code in fact I've been even thinking about taking our Arduino code from when I did the the GPS tracking system and see if I can't uh, massage it and upload it to this thing and see if I can't create an all-in-one GPS tracker you know because the GPS tracking device we did you know it had like three different components on it. it had the Arduino had the GPS and it had the cellular card this thing has all of it in one it even has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi too I mean it's it's pretty beastly for uh, for what it is. So, guys, check it out. Uh, check out more of my videos. Like, subscribe, share. That always helps the channel out and helps me out. It helps me to keep purchasing more stuff to keep bringing you guys more cool things. I've got another major project that I'm going to be undergoing uh, that I'll be showing you guys uh, different steps of the way. That should be pretty cool. It involves generation. Ought to be pretty cool. So, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. And... So hit that subscribe button, support the channel, and we'll see you next time.